This one is one I've been waiting for for a while. They forgot to include it in the last box they sent us, so I am just now getting my hands on it. This is Adventure in a Box Mind Flayer Voyage, which features some Mind Flayer minis, some thematic set pieces, and some maps, but no adventure in this one. If you're looking to recreate that first scene from Baldur's Gate 3, then this is a set for you. Also, I wrote an adventure that this set would work pretty well with. It's called I Am Your World, and it sees your PCs kidnapped and brought aboard a spaceship by a Mind Flayer. And that adventure is on sale right now for like $3.50. It's a gold bestseller, but if you want to give me the holiday gift of a little self-esteem boost, you can help me get a little closer to platinum status by picking up a copy. I'll throw the link in the corner up there and down below. Now, this is the fourth adventure in a box module, I think. I'm working on reviews of the first three, so stay tuned for that. There's a lot going on around here, but I just had to move this one to the front of the line. So let's take a look at Adventure in a Box Mind Flayer Voyage. Today's video is brought to you by Hitpoint Press. The deck of many animated 5e reference cards can bring even more magic to your games, and they make fantastic gifts. Get animated spell cards, condition cards, or townsfolk NPCs. You can even get in-game items like the deck of illusions and the deck of many things. Get huge discounts on everything Hitpoint Press during their Black Friday sale going on now. Use our links in the corner or in the doohickey down below. Let's start off with our Mind Flayer minis. We get two unique Mind Flayer minis with, I believe, unique sculpts that we haven't seen before. And we get an Ulatharid mini that is a repainted version of the one in the Spelljammer set, and I'll show you a comparison shortly. Ulatharids are larger, more potent Mind Flayers. They're often seen as the second in command behind the Elder Brain in a Mind Flayer colony, but the two sometimes come into conflict over sharing power. Here you can see it next to the one from Spelljammer. This one has purple skin, red highlights on the sleeves, and they actually painted the metal around its belt and collar. This one in this set is definitely the better mini. Next up we get four nicely painted Intellect Devourers, one of those enemies that you can never have too many minis of. There's nothing quite as terrifying as seeing a bunch of these little brains with claws scurrying down a dark hallway toward you. You get two minis of each of the two sculpts, one of which looks like what my cats do when another cat gets too close during feeding time. And next up we have two identical Ceramorphosis pods with some gith inside, very Baldur's Gate 3. Also a spawning pool and a Spelljammer helm. I'm wondering if it would be possible at all for them to make a Ceramorphosis pod that you could actually fit around whatever mini you wanted to. I don't really know how that would work, but it would be pretty awesome. Either way, this one is already pretty awesome. Kind of wish the other pod had a different kind of creature inside, maybe just a human, but these are pretty great for filling out your Mind Flayer ships. The spawning pool is where the Mind Flayers lay their eggs, and the Spelljammer helm is the control center for their ship. The final mini in this set is the Mind Witness here, which may look a little bit familiar. It is a direct reprint from the Boneyard set. It's a little bit disappointing that it's just a straight up reprint, but this mini alone is going for more than 30 bucks on the aftermarket. And it's certainly a good mini and a fun one for your adventures. A Mind Witness is created when a Beholder is stunned and brought to the brine pool of an Elder Brain. It's turned into this, which then functions as a Wi-Fi repeater to improve the telepathic communication in a Mind Flayer colony. The set also comes with four foldable cardboard maps with a Mind Flayer Nautiloid Spelljammer ship as featured in the Spelljammer D&D books, which also have all the stats for running the adventures using the ship. You get the prison deck, the cargo deck, the battle deck, and the bridge deck. So technically we're missing those other smaller areas, including the command deck, the observation deck, and the battle prowl. I would just move the Spelljammer helm to the bridge deck. Technically, the ship can hold a crew of 20, so if you have a few extra Illithid minis handy, you can really fill out the space. I wouldn't mind an Illithid warband for that matter. There's technically not a designated spot for the spawning pool on the ship either, so feel free to slot that wherever you like. The maps themselves are quite high quality, and being able to fold them up is a lifesaver for storage. You can take the maps and the minis and just pop them back in the box to keep it all together on your shelf. This particular adventure in a box does not come with an actual adventure like some of the other sets do, so it is up to you to find or create some stories to tell. 
I certainly think my adventure, I Am Your World, is a fun one. And actually, the adventure I wrote for Uncaged Goddesses includes a mine witness and a large spawning pool, so that one might be fun if you want to run a high-level adventure. Now, I haven't read this next one, but there is a fun-looking adventure on DM's Guild called The Last Day of Sharn, which has all sorts of spell jammer insanity in it, plus a pretty great cover. I'll link that one down below if you want to check it out. And of course, there, there is the official spell jammer adventure as well. If you know other good pre-written adventures that feature a nautiloid, let me know in the comments. What I want right now is a mini set that will let me make an actual Underdark Mind Flayer colony. I think you could take the minis in this set here and combine it with the Elder Brain Premium set from Volo and Morden Kanan's Foes, and you're getting pretty close to that. But I do think that's another ripe candidate for an adventure in a box set. This set, Adventure in a Box Mind Flayer Voyage, is on sale for between 65 and 80 bucks right now. It's a little bit steep, but I think it's a pretty nice set. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to check out the Black Friday sale going on right now at Hit Point Press. They're including Alchemy VTT modules for free with almost all their books, plus discounts site-wide and free shipping on orders over 100 bucks. It's a great place to pick up some fun stocking stuffers and gifts. And we're running a little sale right now on our Cobalt plushies and our pens and our shirts like this one and everything else. Just use the code GABOGOBLIN at checkout to get 20% off your order. I am behind on my full set reviews. I know it's been a really busy season and I'm feeling a little bit burnt out to be honest. For context, we've been releasing at least 10 videos a month for like the last five years straight without a break. I'm going to try to get caught up on a full, full of, a few of those full set reviews here before the holidays, but I may take a little time off at the end of the year just to recover a little bit. Hopefully you've been enjoying the content. I've been trying to branch out and bring you uh, adventure book reviews and source book reviews because I love storytelling and I love sharing those with you. And I like giving a platform as well to the creators so they can share their passion with you and give you insider tips on improving your skills as a storyteller and as a game master. I'm always open to feedback on what you enjoy, so please let me know. I'm also looking to stream more on Twitch just so we can kind of hang out and I can take some time off and play some games. We'll be playing Blood on the Clock Tower there, hopefully weekly, but also I'll just be playing some games and just hang hanging out and chatting, sometimes with friends. So if you want to join me, we're over at twitch.tv slash the Gallant Goblin. For now though, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.